better place for you. And you'll have some company. You okay? You good? I'm fine, I'm fine. We're all right. I'm sorry. The nightmare came true, didn't it? No, it didn't. Doctor, I wasn't afraid even then. I knew that you'd come find me that got me through it. Well, um, good. <laughs> Office of Sims. It's the doctor. I'm sending two children away. Get them to safety, quick. Doctor. What are you doing? Making a light bomb of sorts. Purge the entire building through every light outlet. It's okay, how long will that take? Not sure, but the swarm shouldn't bother us for a good long while. That last burst of light stunned it silly. Next regeneration, I'm definitely going to be taller. Okay, so how are you going to make this light bulb big enough? The the swarm is massive, and won't all that light blind us? Uh, not if I can isolate the exact frequency that'll hurt it. If I can reroute the direct light energy... Oh, direct light energy through the console and into my sonic, I can direct the energy, but not all the light. Reroute it through the console, remote bug spray. Direct it directly at the beast, and poof! Instant ah, mm, bug barbecue. Mm. But if you're touching all the energy, you could be electrocuted. You could die. Doctor, you can't do this. Oh, why not? Dying is nothing for a time. Lord, I've died lots of times. You can't mean that. There, there has to be some way. There really isn't, Lauren. Trust me. No, Doctor, seriously, you can't... Doctor, don't shut me out. What are you talking about? You always do this. Every time that we're in the middle of something tough, or or if I ask you about your past, you always clam up. I, I, I don't. Are we really doing this now? In the middle of a crisis? Yes, now. We may not get a chance later. You're being overdramatic. <gasps> that is funny, coming from the drama king himself. What are you talking about? I mean, who's Rose? Clara, Hadric, Susan. Why did you leave Gallifrey? Why do you travel the universe? I don't know, because you never tell me when I ask. You just sulk. No, I don't. I'm never sulky. Look at my face. I'm facing a crisis. Look at my face. I'm smiling. I am looking at your face, and you know what I see? Behind all your quirks and your bravado, I see suffering and pain and sadness and guilt. Stop it, Lauren. I don't... I see someone who doesn't know why he bothers living anymore. Lauren, please, just stop it. I just don't get it. I would... All the people you saved and the worlds you've been to and this amazing life you have... Why? Why do you carry so much pain and guilt? Why do those names make you so sad? Because it's my fault. It's always been my fault. All my family, friends, everyone I've ever traveled with, they're just gone. There have been so many times when I should have died and someone else took my place. I should never have taken Romano with me. I should never have taken any of you with me. I should never have left Gallifrey. No. You're wrong. Doctor. It's not your fault. You hear me? It's not your fault. I chose to come with you. And so did everyone else who's had so many amazing adventures with you. You honestly think that I would be better off without you, Doctor? I don't even know if I'd be alive if it wasn't for you. Why? 
What are you talking about? Because I was gonna, I was gonna take off and leave my home, my family, and leave my mom behind, and because I couldn't deal with my own past, because. What, Lauren? What? Doctor, it was me. I wrecked the car the night my dad died. I was driving. He's the reason that he's. I'm the reason that he's dead. Everything I touch, I ruin. I thought I deserved nothing but to live alone the rest of my life. I even started to think that everything would be better off if I was dead. Lauren, that's not true. I know that now, but it's because of you. Because you showed up in your TARDIS and took me across the universe. And you know what it taught me? That I am loved and needed and that love is what makes life so unspeakably beautiful despite all the pain it will cause us making a difference and it's worth it all really figured that out on your own no you taught me that I've seen you run into danger countless times to save complete strangers and you never asked for anything in return. That kind of courage and kindness, I'd given up on it. And through all that, through you and all, all the wonderful people that I saw that kind of love in, I, I began to trust and to hope again. Finally forgave myself. I know that's what my dad would have wanted for me, and I know that's what every single person who's traveled with you would want for you. And what's that? To live without regret. Because doctors speaking as your friend. Best friend. I wouldn't trade a single moment I've had with you for anything in the universe. Because you showing up in my life is no accident. Doctor, you saved me and you didn't even have to try. But still, if you hadn't come with me here, you'd be safe. You'd all be safe. <laughs> safe is overrated. <laughs> I've been safe all my life. Living. It's so much better than being safe. But I could still lose you. And if that happens, I can't. I can't. Well, then don't lose me. You hear me? Don't lose. Keep going. Right, finishing touches. Now, I want you to watch for the swarm. When you see it, give the signal, then get out of there as fast as possible. You really think we can win? Yes. Might be lying. You're terrible. <laughs> I know. Come on, magic girl. We can win this. Magic girl? Doctor, it's coming! Steady on, Lauren. Ah! No, stay back, stay back! Now, oh, Lauren, do it! Doctor, you'll die! Just do it! Now!
Doctor, can you hear me? Master Sims, it's the Doctor. It's all right. The boogeyman is gone. Get everyone to the exit. You'll be safe. 